Okay, so we got a 12 millimeter right down here for the, for the adjustment for his power steering pump. Yes, it actually has power steering. <laughs> it doesn't have AC, it doesn't have buzz windows, it doesn't have, uh, <laughs> it's a standard shift. Tony got himself an economy here. They paid 2400 bucks this guy, <laughs> I wasn't complaining. <laughs> he pulled up last night, I told him, hey, put the window up. And you have to get out and crank it up. <laughs> oh my god. Steve's calling me a cheap bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this 12 is a little tight. I'm gonna put our cheetah wrench on it. But it gets a million miles a gallon, so. Yeah, this thing gets like 38 miles a gallon. It's ridiculous. The expedition gets like 13. <laughs> <laughs> it's killing me going to work. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so we can push it forward, and it's got some adjustment on here, and it's pretty much at the end. I can try and get a little bit more, and then we may have to just roll the belt up off of it a little bit. So, get a little more adjustment out of this. And the alternator is down on the bottom here. And it's got a pivot here that we can crack loose with an adjustment to let it loose. So we're going to crack that loose right now, get some penetrating oil on it. And then uh, it looks like it's a... Uh, uh, it looks like maybe a 13. I have a 14 here. No, it's a 14. So, and this is a 12. So let's get some oil on this and then we'll crack it loose. Right. We're wrenching this, I mean, I just don't want to go blasting it with the air ratchet. And This is like an aluminum block right here and you know, I see them break apart. I, I'd just rather go a little slow maybe. And so as we back this thing off, I'm going to get a little gear wrench in here, 14 millimeter, and then that'll get this off real quick. We'll loosen this up and then we'll slide it forward. So you can see the wrench that we have down there, it's a 12 millimeter. We're gonna back that nut off and that's the pivot for the bottom of the alternator. And it has a, like a flat flange on the other side so there's not a, a wrench that's needed on the other side. So we'll get this to crack loose with the 12. So we're gonna pry back to see if we get the alternator. Okay, so the alternator's all the way up now. And uh, We'll take the belts off now, and then we're gonna start getting into this cover. Peel that off. The alternator one is the the one on the outside, and these are just kind of dry looking. So Tony picked up new ones, and I think we can probably rotate this one off. Uh, this one seems like it's all the way at the end of the adjustment. So this belt is a little tighter. Um, but I'm just gonna find a way to get it off. There it is. So we matched up our belts and that's good. So we're gonna slip this one over. Uh, push this away. We have to push this back down. Right, get that one rolled on. Pull that one tight and let's get we're gonna match this one up with the other belt. Running out of pieces Tony. Okay. Okay, stretch them out, that's good, so we get the right belt. This one has to go down around the crank and the alternator and the water pump. So this one's not as easy as the other one to do. There it is. Now I can push the alternator forward.
see if we slide the belt on now. Okay. Oh, look at that, huh? Okay, it's on the crank. All right, we gotta catch this pull all around to the other side now again. Of course, it's, I think the belt's pretty, pretty tight, so we're going to back this bolt off more again so we can get it to fit over. That's enough. Get the washer over. Oh, you're right there, huh? Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah, I'm gonna try and pry it a little more and get it to slip over there. There it goes. Okay. All right, now we can snug that up. And that's what's gonna pull tension on this belt. This belt is pretty tight right now, so I'm just gonna run this thing down to where it touches, and that's probably gonna be it. Yeah, you feel the belt on it. You don't want it super tight. You're gonna put pressure on the water pump. So I'm comfortable where it is right there. So now we need to just tighten up um, this 12 millimeter here. And I think that's what we get this one for. <coughs> the other belt was stretched and it came out farther you can see the old adjustment by my thumb here but the belt is nice and tight where it is and we're not gonna over tighten it i'm locking it. this is the lock setting on it okay, and i'm good with it and then down on this side over here tony's got to come around because when we have to reach down we have the 12 millimeter way right down here all right now it's tight down there you can see i'm going to leave the wrench on it so you can see it See it down there. Yep, there it is right down That's on there. That's the pivot. So okay. Okay, take the wrench off. Alright, now we're gonna tighten the power steering pulley up. Then that other bolt we just tightened, where was that Steve? It was this kinda is, hard to see you. This one we tightened um Yep, it was that one right there, right? Right here. This is to tighten it, this is the adjustment. Okay. So this one's all tight. Yep. Um and the belt's in good place right now. So now we're just gonna pull this power steering. So I'm going to put a little pry bar. I don't want to pry on this. I want to pry on the body and the cover here. And I don't really need a lot with this. So we can go with something like this. And just hold it in place right here. And if we line up this pulley like we didn't the last time, I can come right in here and tighten this up. nice and tight and we got the other one on the back side here that we have to tighten this is the pivot one right here and I used a couple of wrenches on that I remember that thing was real tight so let's get the two wrenches on there again like this one and this one
Okay, so we got our power steering pump tight. Check our belts. They're nice. Um, our power steering reservoir here that we slid out of the slit here. It has the two things right here to line up on the bottom. And uh, it just pops back down into place as long as you line up the holes correctly. And we have no spare bolts in here. 